If you see this plant in the shops, pick it up. The velvety goodness, the beautiful foliage colour changes, watching it climb, it is just a pleasure. Hi guys, it's Georgia here. Today we're going to talk about this beautiful philodendron I have in front of me. This guy is the Camposporto anum. Uh, the common name is the Velvet Shields. This philodendron is, like all philodendrons, a hemi-epiphyte. He spends part of his time on the ground and other part of his time he spends up in the trees. They've got these long climbing tendrils with these aerial roots you can kind of see. The cool thing about this particular variety is that it has these beautiful like velvety leaves that have tiny like blushes of purple and pink in the right light. In terms of care for the Campos Porto Anum, the reason that I love them, unlike other uh, velvety aroids or velvety philodendrons, this guy doesn't need extra humidity. I don't need to give him humidifiers. I don't need to put him in a terrarium. He's fine just growing as is. What they do have are these beautiful aerial roots. As we said, that philodendrons are tree lovers, so they're constantly looking for somewhere to climb so they can transcend the ground floor and kind of get up in the tree canopy. Also, a good thing about them is, like all philodendrons, they don't have a uniform leaf shape throughout the entire lifespan of the plant. They have juvenile leaves and then adult leaves. So this guy's been a pleasure for me to watch because I bought him as a tiny little puppy. He had all of these beautiful soft love heart leaves. And I was like, you're so beautiful. I love you, Cordatum. And then he grew these ears and slowly he started to get these little like puppy dog ears. In terms of light for this guy, Generally speaking, not right next to the window. Bright light on the leaves will damage them and affect them. They like an aerated soil with a bit of pearl light, maybe some orchid bark for a little bit of extra moisture. But it is important to have some sort of aeration in there. They don't like wet feet. All right, so some big no-nos with this particular philodendron is watching that watering. Particularly in winter, I highly recommend you water your plants in the morning. Don't water your plants at night. Don't water your plants at night and then put them back with other plants because you're just going to be encouraging too much like damp, danky, cold. Not a good idea. I can show you here what happened a few weeks ago where this tiny little leaf is unfurled and he's all wrinkly and that is because he was overwatered that week. So my big secrets for growing this little velvety shield dude is a trellis. I highly recommend getting yourself a trellis. This isn't the best one, I would admit. A bamboo trellis is purely for aesthetic. This guy really look is looking for a real tree, something with real fiber, um, a real piece of wood from the garden or the park will do. Um, what that means for the plant is that the nodes, when you have them growing on something which is like organic material, because of the humidity, the nodes are gonna be closer together because the plant doesn't have to go as far looking for somewhere to you know be happy so it's just going to step up the ladder super super close you're going to get really dense foliage lots of leaves the really big leaves as well because that humidity is going to be nice and tight as those leaves are perspirating around each other I highly, highly, highly recommend if you see this plant in the shops, pick it up. It is the most rewarding philodendron I have. The velvety goodness, the beautiful foliage color changes, watching it climb, watching it go from love heart leaves to these little lobby ear dudes. It is just a pleasure. So yeah, good luck and see you guys next time.